It is said that autism is one word attempting to describe millions of different stories. This is Camille's story. Camille the Gymnast, Part 1. Hey, Emma. Want to be partners for the Social Studies Project? Sure. What should we do? We can build a pyramid out of sugar cubes. Yeah, and we can write Egyptian hieroglyphic messages to each other. Yeah, like a secret code. Wow, just wow. I thought I was your best friend, Emma. Really? You want Thomas to be your partner? Bye, Camille. See you tomorrow. Hi, Camille. Snacks on the table. <laughs> oh, honey. Can I put my arm around you? No, I'm too hot. Too bright. Ugh. <laughs> Can you tell me what happened? Emma talked to Thomas the whole way home. She was my best friend, but she doesn't like me anymore. School was so long and I had such a headache. We had a substitute who had a really loud voice. I got in trouble for something I didn't even do. And I'm mad at Emma now. And I never want to go back to school. It sounds like you had a tough day, Camille. My whole body hurts. And now I can't go to gymnastics, Mommy. Can you please leave me alone? I need to draw. Take all the time you need. I'll come back to check in later. Oh, I had a bad day, Twilight. I love you. My name's Camille. I'm on the autism spectrum. I don't look any different, but my brain is wired differently than most kids. My senses get overwhelmed easily. I have to spend a lot more energy than most kids just to get through the day. I have a hard time with weird smells. They give me a headache. Bright lights can be too much. They hurt me and loud noises make me very anxious. Ugh, I don't like changes in my routine. Like today we had a substitute teacher. Ugh, and I don't like sharing anything or anyone, especially my best friend, Emma. Sometimes I wish my brain had an off button. It's tiring to try to fit in all day, but I like being me. I'm super creative and I can really focus on details. Making art and doing gymnastics, they help me reset and feel good. I can pretend I can put on a mask. I work hard, but I get overwhelmed. My senses can't take it. I'm like a pop can, the world shakes me up. I'm about to explode. Ready to go, Camille? Hmm, I know I should go to gymnastics. I want to go, but then I don't. Well, let's talk about the pros and cons. Okay, a pro to going to gymnastics. It feels good to get energy out. We also have a competition this weekend, and I want to practice my routines. Those are great pros. And what about a con? I don't want to be around everyone in my class. They talk a lot, and I always feel left out. I hear what you're saying. How about this? What if we go to gymnastics and I wait in the bleachers? And if you feel like leaving after 15 minutes, we'll let coach know that you're not feeling well. Wouldn't that be telling a lie? If you're not feeling well emotionally or mentally, then you're not feeling well. It's a different part of your well-being. And if you need to calm your nervous system, then I'm fine with bringing you home to rest. Okay, I'll get ready. I really don't want to go, but I really don't want to miss it. So, I like your idea. I love you, Mommy. I love you, too.